This presentation is part of a series of presentations about the quality of work and well-being. We look at the features of high quality work and through an analysis of the 2012 British Skills and Employment Survey look at how jobs can be categorised into low and high quality jobs. Scientific studies are very consistent in highlighting the features of good quality work and also that good quality work is related to good well-being at work. Although not an exhaustive list, many scientific models of job quality converge on jobs characterised by things like a secure employment contract and hours of work, safe and clean working conditions, having work that is challenging and interesting but not so demanding it upsets work-life balance, having input into decisions that affect how the work is done, that is having some autonomy on how the day-to-day -day tasks are conducted and being consulted on major organisational changes, having variety in the tasks to be performed and the skills needed to do the work, being clear on what needs to be accomplished and having the support of colleagues and managers. In our own research we have also found that high quality jobs tend to be accompanied by well conducted performance management and appraisals, training and development. We have also found that jobs that could be categorised as high quality jobs can be found across all occupational types and that jobs many people would traditionally think of as low quality work can have the features of high quality work. Although some of the features of high quality work can require changes to employment contracts and conditions, for instance issuing longer term employment contracts, others can be influenced by more informal means, just getting managers to consult more with their staff, delegating some decisions and clarifying roles and responsibilities. So improving the quality of work does not have to be a difficult task. In our analysis of the 2012 British Skills and Employment Survey, we found that over 60% of workers were in jobs that could be categorised as high quality jobs. Such workers experienced better well-being and better work-life balance. These jobs were characterised by having some involvement in decisions that affect the work, use of skills, training and development opportunities, working in teams and sharing information, having regular performance appraisals and job security. Although a minority of people in high quality work received performance related pay, the majority did not. It is good news that so many workers report being in high quality work. However, it is worrying that a significant minority of UK workers could be in very low quality work. Some useful references on job quality and well-being are shown here.